Hi guys, today we are going to see how you can create a grocery store website. The best part is, we'll also convert the site into an app which will be handy for your customers. So if you're running a grocery store, instead of your customers buying from your store, you can let them order your products from your website or app and you can deliver the products right to their houses. Okay, so after watching this video, you'll be able to create a website and a mobile app like this where you can add all your products and when people visit your website, they can purchase any product just by clicking add to cart. Now if they enter their payment details and click place order, their order will be successfully placed on your site. Now once a customer places an order, you will receive an order email in your inbox and you can see the order details of the customer. Now you can go ahead and deliver the products. Okay, next we will also see how you can easily edit the content on your website. Alright, the best part is we will see how you can make this website as an app like this so that it will be easy for your customers to place an order. So by creating a website and an app for a grocery store, you can reach out to more people and grow your business. It's going to be very easy and quick. I'm Brian from Website Learners and let's start creating our grocery store website. Now to create a grocery store website, we are going to do three parts. The first part is to launch a grocery store website. So this is where you will get your new website live on the internet. Now we are going to launch a site using MakeAWP. MakeAWP is a platform designed by website learners where anyone can launch their dream website in just one click. So instead of spending hours and hours setting up your website and getting it work the way you want, you can simply launch the ready-made website which is designed by us. Every template is built with WordPress and has all the essentials installed and ready to go. You can launch this site, add your content and branding and you're good to go. You can put your website into action in no time. Now to launch your website, just click the link below this video and it will take you to a website called makeawp.com. So this is where you can launch a grocery store website. Now to check how your website will look, just click demo and you can see the preview of your grocery store website. Now if we click shop, you can see that we have got our products and if we click on a product, as we can see, we have our product details here. Now if we view the site on mobile, you can see that it's also optimized for mobile so that your customers can place orders easily. Okay, once you are ready to launch your site, just click launch site and you will get this page. Here you will find the details of your website plan. This plan is to keep your website live on the internet for one year. Now to launch your website, here enter your details. Once you have done that, just click next. Now enter your payment details. Then click order now and you will get this page. This means that you have successfully purchased your grocery store website. Now to launch your grocery store website, let's scroll down, then click launch your site and you will get this make your WP dashboard. Now here, enter a name for your website. I am going to enter shop grocery now. Next here, you can see that our grocery website is already selected. Then click launch new website. And you can see that our new website has been successfully launched. Now if you click visit, you will get a brand new website and this means your website is live on the internet. So this is how you can launch a grocery store website. Okay, now here you can see that this is a temporary link to your website. Instead of this, let's say you want to have a website name which is like yourwebsite.com. So we will see how you can add that later in this video. Okay, now if we click shop, you can see that we have sample products on our website. Now instead of these sample products, let's say you want to add your own product to your site. How will you do that? So next, let's go to the second part of this tutorial where we are going to see how you can add your own products to your site. Now to add products to your site, we are going to do three steps. Now the first step is to log into your WordPress dashboard. So to log into your dashboard, just go to make it WP and if you click admin, you will get the WordPress dashboard. This is where you can manage your entire website. Okay, once you have logged into your dashboard, now you can go to step 2 which is to delete the sample products on your site. So to do that, just go to products, now click all products and you will get all the products on your site. Now to delete these sample products, just click on this box and all the products will be selected. Then click here and select move to trash. Now click apply and you can see that the sample products have been deleted. Now if we go to our shop and click refresh, you can see that all the sample products have been removed. Okay, 
once you have deleted the sample products now you can go to the final step which is to add your products to your website so to add your products just go to your site dashboard now click add new and you will get this page this is the place where you can add your products to your site so to add a product to your shop here enter the product title i want to sell coffee beans so let's enter that now here enter the description of your product once you're done next here you can see your product category if your product category is not listed here just click add new category here enter the category name you want now click add new category and the category will be added to your product and here you can add your product image so let's click set product image now drag and drop the product image from your computer and your product image will be added now let's scroll down and here you can see your product price so let's enter that okay next here you can add a short description about your product so let's enter that once you're done you can also add a gallery of your product images so to add images just click add product images now drag and drop the product images from your computer then your product images will be added so now we have added all the details about our product now to add your product just scroll to the top then click publish and your product will be published so now if we go to our shop and click refresh you can see that we have got the product in our shop so this means we have successfully added the product to our site in the same way you can add any product you want okay now let's say you have added some products to your site and if you click on a product you will get your product page which will have all the details you have added to your product now here you can see that we have the product price in dollars let's say you want to change the currency of your products to indian rupees or any other currency how will you do that now to change your currency let's go back to our site dashboard then go to woocommerce and click settings so this is the place where you can change all the settings related to your store now choose your currency then scroll down this page and here you can select the currency for your products click here and select the currency you want i'm going to select indian rupees and then click save now if we go back to our shop page and click refresh you can see that our currency has been changed okay now you know how you can change your currency now let's say a customer wants to purchase this product so if they click add to cart then click checkout and if they scroll down here you can see that it says no payment methods are available so now how can people pay for your products and purchase it not all of people to pay for your products you need to set up a payment method once you add a payment method anyone can purchase your products and you will receive the payment to your bank account so next let's see how you can add a payment method to your site now to add a payment method let's go to our wordpress dashboard then click wp payments now here you can see we have stripe which is a popular payment method so we are going to connect stripe with our website to do that just click here and it will ask you to create an account on stripe so just enter your email id and click continue now enter a password for your account then click login and it will ask you to verify your mobile number so just enter your mobile number then click send text now enter the verification code which will be sent to your mobile number i am going to enter my code and your mobile number will be verified then click here and select a company type i am going to select individual once you're done let's click continue now enter your personal details and click continue now here select the type of business i am going to select it as we are going to add stripe to our website select website and here we need to enter our website link so just go to your website copy your site link now let's go back to this tab paste the link here and click continue now here you need to add your bank account details so let's enter that and when people purchase products on your site that money will be sent to your bank account now let's click continue and it will show all the details that you have entered 
Once you're done, just click submit. Then you will be taken back to your site, and you can see that our Stripe account has been successfully connected with our website. Now click save changes, and if we go to our website and click refresh, you can see that we have got the Stripe payment method. So now we have successfully added the Stripe payment method to our website. Okay, now anyone can purchase your product by making the payment. So to place an order, your customers need to enter these details and then enter the payment details. Finally, if they click place order, they will get this page. So this means your customer has successfully completed the payment and purchased your product. Okay, once someone purchases a product from your website, how will you know that you have received the payment? So when someone purchases a product on your site, you will get a payment confirmation email to your inbox. So now if you go to our inbox, you can see that we have got two emails. The first email is from Stripe and this one is from our website. So let's open this. And as you can see, this is from Stripe. And here you can see that we have successfully received the payment for our product. So this is how you can know that you have received the payment for your order. Now to check another email, let's go back. Now let's open it. As you can see, this is from our website. And here you can see the product details. Once your customer has completed the payment, now you can deliver the product to your customer. Okay, now you know how to receive your product payments. But what about your customer? How will they know about the order details? So once your customer has placed an order on your site, they will receive an order confirmation email to their inbox. So now if we go to our customer's inbox, you can see that our customer has received an email from our website. So let's open it. And you can see that they have got the order details. So this is how your customer can know about the order details. Okay, now if we go to our website, you can see that we still have the demo content on our website. Now let's say you want to change the content on your site. How will you do that? So next, let's see how you can edit the content of your website. To do that, just click edit with Elementor and you will get this editing section. So this is the place where you can edit the content of your website. Now let's say you want to change this text. So just click it, then click here. Now here you can enter the text you want. And you can see that the text has been changed. Now if you want to change this button text, here enter the text you want. And you can see that the button text has been changed. In the same way, you can change any text you want on this page. Okay, now let's say you want to change the background image. So to change it, just click on the image. Now drag and drop the image from your computer and you can see that we have successfully changed the background image. So in the same way, you can change any image you want. Now let's scroll down. Next, let's say you want to change this text. All you have to do is just select the text, then enter the text you want. Okay, now if you want to change the products listed here, go here, then click this pencil icon. Now click here and select the group of products you want to show. Then select the product category you want and you can see that the product list has been changed. In the same way, you can edit the content of your entire page. Now to save your changes, click update and the changes will be saved. Now if we go to our site and click refresh, you can see that our changes have been successfully applied to our site. Okay, now here you can see that we still have the default logo. So next, let's see how you can add your own logo to your site. Now to add your logo, click customize here and you will get these options to customize your website. Now to add your logo, just click site identity. Now click change logo. Then drag and drop your logo from your computer. Now to save your changes, just click publish. And the changes will be saved. Now if we go to our site and click refresh, you can see that we have successfully added our logo to our website. So this is how you can add a logo to your grocery website. Okay. Now you know how to make a complete grocery store website. Next, if we look here, our site ends with mywpsite.org. Now instead of this, what if you want your website address to have a simple address like yourwebsitename.com which looks more professional and people can easily remember it. You can do that by getting your own domain name for your site. So next, let's see how you can add your own domain name to your grocery store website. So to get your own domain name, just go to the video you're watching right now and click the link in the description. And this will take you to webspacekit.com where you can buy your domain name. Now here, enter the name that you want for your website. I am going to enter shop grocery now. 
Now if we click search, you can see that this domain name is available. So once you find a name which is available, to get this name for your website, just click add to cart. Now it will ask you to change the hosting plan. As we already have our hosting on MakeUWP, let's click skip here. And you will get this cart page. Now here you can see that we're getting a domain name for one year. And after one year, you need to renew to keep using it. So to get this domain name, let's fill up these details. And enter your payment details. Once you're done, now click order now. And you can see that we have made a payment. Now if we click continue, then click domains. You can see that we have got a domain name. Okay, once you've got your domain name, now how do you connect your domain name with your website? So next, let's see how you can connect your domain name with your grocery store website. So to connect it, let's select this and click manage DNS. Then you will get this page. Now we need to enter our website's IP address next to the A record. So to get your website's IP address, just go to your MakeAWP dashboard. Let's click here. Then click domains. And you will get these details. Now just copy this IP address. So let's select it. Then click copy. Now let's go back to our domain. And paste the IP address here. Once you have done that, now scroll down. Let's click save changes. And the changes will be saved. Okay. Now go back to make it WP. And here, enter your domain name. I'm going to enter my domain name. Once you're done, finally click connect domain. And you can see that our domain is successfully connected to our website. Now people can access your website by entering your domain name and they can find your products on your website. Okay guys, now our site is ready to use. So next, let's see how our site looks on a mobile phone. Let's open the browser on our mobile. Now just enter our website name. And you can see how our site looks on a mobile phone. Now let's see how people can purchase the products on your site using their mobile phones. Now if they click shop, they can see all your products. Now to purchase a product, they can click add to cart. They can click checkout. Now just enter the details. Then fill up the payment details. And if they click place order, the order will be successfully placed on your site. So this is how people can purchase products on your site using their mobile phones. Okay, now we have a complete grocery store website. So in this website, we have used a WordPress theme to build our grocery site. Now in the future, let's say you have got an update for the theme. Now you can use this website without updating the theme for as long as you want. But if you want to have the latest version of the theme for your website, you can purchase the theme and then update it to the latest version. So to purchase the theme, click the link below the video and you will get this page. So this is the WordPress theme that we have used to build our grocery website. So to get this theme, we need to purchase it. Now this is a one-time fee and you don't need to make any monthly payments. So let's click add to cart. Then go to checkout. And it will ask you to create an account. I am going to sign up with Google. So let's click on it. Now select your Google account. And your account will be created. To continue your purchase, click secure checkout. Now let's fill up these details. And once you have done that, just click save. Now to get the theme, let's select a payment method. Now you can enter your payment details. And once you're done, let's click pay securely. And you can see that we have successfully made the payment and purchased the theme. Okay, once you've got your theme, how will you know that you've got an update for your theme? Now in order to receive the latest updates for your theme, first, you need to download and install a plugin called Envanto Market on your site. This plugin will help you receive the latest updates for your theme. So to download the plugin, just, just click, click the, the link below this video, video and you will get this page. Now click download and the plugin will be downloaded to your computer. Now to install the plugin, let's go to our site. Now go to plugins, click add new and click upload plugin. Now drag this plugin and drop it here and the plugin will be selected here. Now let's click install now 
then click activate and you can see that the plugin has been activated now scroll down and click envanto market and here it will ask you to enter this token to get the updates for your team now to get your token just click this link and it will ask you to sign into your envanto account now you can continue with google or here you can enter the details which you have used to create your account while purchasing your team I am going to continue with Google. Now here enter the name for your token. I am going to enter grocery store. Now let's scroll down and click on this box. Now click create token and you can see that we have got our token. Now let's copy the token and go to our site. Now paste the token then click save changes. and you can see that we have got the options here so now if we go to themes you can see that we have got a purchase theme in our website so this means whenever your theme has a new version you will get a notification like this so to update your theme all you have to do is just click on the notification and your theme will be updated to the latest version okay so now our website is ready next what if you want to create a mobile app for your store so that your customers can make orders right from their phones next Let's see how you can create a mobile app for your grocery store. Now instead of creating an app from scratch, we are going to convert our website into a mobile app like this where customers can see the products and make the orders. Okay. Now to create a mobile app, just click the link below this video and it will take you to this website. This is the site which is going to help us convert our site into an app. Now click convert website to app. Then here enter the URL of your website. To do that, let's go to our site. copy this url paste it here and click get content now scroll down and here you can see a preference of how you want your app to look once you're done just scroll down and click next now here select if you want to show ads on your app as i don't want ads i'm going to select no monetization Now click next and here enter the name for your app. Again click next. And now we need to select an icon for our app. This is the icon which will be displayed on a mobile like this. And as you can see a default icon has been selected now. If you have your own icon just click custom icon and click upload. Now select your icon and click open. Now to crop your icon click crop and your icon will be added here once you've done that just click next and click create now it'll ask us to create an account i am going to select google now as you can see our account has been successfully created and here we have a app ready and it can be downloaded so let's click download and here we've got the link for our app which we can open on our mobile and download the app so to download it we can send the link to our mobile using this email option to do that Just click send. Now let's take our mobile, and if we go to our inbox, you can see that we've got the email. And here we have the option to download our app. So let's click it, and the app will be downloaded. Now to install it, just click open, click install, and our app will be successfully installed. So let's go to the home page, and here you can see that we've got our app. So let's open it. And as you can see, we've got the app with all our products. Okay, so now we've successfully created our app. Next, let's see how a customer can order items on our app. To order any item, all they have to do is just click Add to Cart. Now click Checkout. And here, like we saw on our website, the customer has to enter the address details. So let's enter these details. Then scroll down. Now here, if the customer enters their payment details and clicks Place Order, the order will be successfully completed. Okay now once a customer makes an order if we go to our wordpress dashboard then go to woocommerce here you can see that we have a new order notification so let's click it and here we can see the new order if we click it we can see the order details so we can go ahead and deliver the items to our customer okay so this is how your customers can order products from your app once you've created the app how do you let your customers download and use the app you can do that by adding your app to the play store once you do that your customers can download the app directly from the play store so if you want to know 
how to add your app to the Play Store, you can watch this video. Okay, now there's one more way to let your customers download your app. That is by adding a section like this on your site. So when a customer visits your site, they can download your app from here. So now if we go to our site, we already have a section for our app. Now this is the default button and it doesn't have a link to download our app. So next, let's see how you can add your app link to your website. To do that, click Customize and click Widgets. Now here, select the area where you have the button. And as we have the button on the footer column, I'm going to select that. And here, we have the button. So let's click it and click here. Now we need to add the download link to our app so that when a customer clicks on the button, they can download our app. So to add the link, let's go to this website. Now copy this link, then go back and paste it here. If you want to open the app page in the new tab, just click here. Enable this and click here. Now you can see that our link has been added here. Once you have done that, just click publish. Now let's see how our button works. If we go to our site, click refresh. And if we click on this button, here our customers can download our app. Okay, so now you know how you can create an app for your store. So that's it guys. This is how you can create a grocery store website. If you're ready to make your site, just click the link below this video and it'll take you to the Make a WP page where you can launch your site and start building a grocery store website. And also make sure you click the subscribe button to see more videos from us. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.